Good morning. Uh, it's cold here. My name is Norma Ballhorn. It's cold here where I live, here in Vancouver, Washington. It's 36 degrees today. Uh, I live in my RV at an RV park, and the water hose was froze this morning, but it's unthawed now. But anyway, what I come on here to do today, I've got about 11 videos there on YouTube. And this particular video I wanted to make because uh, I've been four years living out as a trans woman now, and or start my fourth year, and start my third year on hormones. And my subject that I want to talk about today is uh, internet safety for the new girls coming out that have never uh, been on the computer that much. Up until about three years ago, I was out. Well, I didn't know nothing about the computer, but I know I've learned quite a bit. After taking a class at Clark College, when I was taking college classes, my first computer class, that's where I never even knew nothing about thumb drives or how to uh, send an attachment in an email and that. I knew how to send emails, but I didn't know how to send attachments. There's still some things I don't know, like copy and paste. I don't know that how to do that. I've been told that many times, but I haven't understood it fully. But uh, anyway, what I want to talk about there on the safety part, I'm an admin for uh, three different groups, which is, a ma is an administrator for groups. And I may make this video in a two-part series because uh, there might be a, quite a bit that I have to talk about. But... Uh, First thing that I would say is make sure you look over the profiles of the people that you're at. Uh, a lot of girls don't do that. They just add them right away. Another thing that I noticed too is, and I was guilty of it too when I first started, is look at your groups when you go to start them. Read the about on them. Because there are things in there, like if you block a cert, one of the administrators, and uh, we'll go into that too about blocking anybody or about administrators. Um, when you go to a group, you take and you can go to your uh, where it says uh, members. Click on members, which usually that members is on the right side of your computer and after you click on members over on the left side of your computer comes up a little square box and it says members and if you click it again down below it says admins and you can go on there and it usually tells you who your admins are so if you have any trouble while you're in that group chatting or you see something inappropriate you can go and uh, click on the admin and send the admin a message and most good admins will get uh, on there right away and uh, do something about it. Uh, another thing to watch when you're looking at profiles, check out the uh, number of groups they got and what name of groups that they belong to and that will tell you a lot too about a person because I know a lot of us don't take the time and look and the more we take and look at it the less uh, problems we'll have with uh, chasers because we have a lot of trans chasers that chase after us whether you be a MDF or whether you be a FDM we all got chasers so just something to think about for all the new girls that are coming out uh, another thing that makes a uh, good admin for a group site is uh, when people send requests, a good admin will thoroughly go through or will look through the profiles and uh, then go ahead and add them or ignore them. 
and uh, after you add them, what's good to do if you're an admin is there's a button you click on uh, over by members that says new and what you do is you click on that where it says new and if you're an admin you go to that where it says welcome to the group I notice a lot of some of the groups I belong to the admins don't do that so I'm working on doing that to make myself a better admin and uh, the way you do that though is you click on there and you welcome the person in the group you like it and then you welcome and send a message and welcome to this great group and then you click it and it uh, brings it up and it goes onto the group profile and it's a good way to meet people good way to be a good admin um, some of this I'm saying I hope it helps some of the newer girls it's, I know it's hard for all of us out there One of my big uh, pet peeves is uh, veterans issues, as I'm a veteran. I was in the Army from 73 to 76 up Fort Lewis, Washington, infantry, and uh, I need writing cue cards. <laughs> Oh, my dog, Chip, everybody that knows me or has seen me, my dog, Chip, says hi. Can you say hi out there to everybody, Chip? Looky, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, we love you out there. Uh, he's my, he keeps me company. Yeah, he's giving me a pet companion for him. It's easy uh, to get one from your doctor's get a companion for your pet and usually most of the time when you have a pet companion letter uh, you don't have to pay a deposit on your rent and most wherever you rent a place that's one good thing about having a pet companion letter for your pet also you can take them with you in most stores or bars if you go to bars or whatever uh, there are some places that give you issues, just like they do us for our restroom use, which I've had issues, plenty of them. Uh, I'm just an old 57-year-old trans woman that came out about four years ago to my ex-wife. I have a 32-year marriage, enjoying the life. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life right now at this moment. And I'm trying to help a lot of the other younger girls that are just starting out. Hopefully I can say something that will help them. Uh, I'd like to see uh, some of us out there make some more, make some videos on cooking. Some of us girls or some of us sisters or brothers make some videos on cooking. I'd like to see a group out there on for us for recipe sharing. So, uh, I'm giving away some of my ideas that I'm thinking right now. Uh, another one would be sports. A lot of us don't get into sports, and there's a lot of opportunities for sports. I played this last spring on a softball team, and I ended up being able to, was picked up by a team out of Philadelphia, because they had their uh, lesbian women's softball World Series tournament here in Portland, Oregon, over at Delta Park. It's real close to where I live. I have fun doing it. And their next year, their uh, World Series is going to be in Las Vegas. And most of your bigger cities do have LGBTQ uh, softball teams. And most of them, if you have your ID changed over and your sex changed over on your ID, then you can play on a women's team and it would be neat to, I'd love to see a bunch of different trans women teams so we could all compete against each other. That would be kind of fun to go to one of those World Series and do that. So Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough and I hope everybody loves this video.
And for now, this is Norma B saying bye-bye.